Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestle Moon channel guys. I am Ram Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. Today tutorial we are going to talk about visual scripting. Earlier name was Bolt. So before the 2019 Unity version, it was compulsory to install a Bolt asset from the asset store. But in this tutorial we are going to try in 2022. So here we have open our project. So currently what I am going to do is just I am creating a folder visual scripting. In this folder we are going to create one scene that is the VS. Why I am calling V as means visual scripting earlier this name was bold basically if you are a performed coder so you don't need to learn vs means visual scripting because it is made for artists uh, 3d artists who can just create a prototype or a developer want to create a prototype just novice programmer and basically if you want to perform anything you have to know the basic at what we can use like you have to know that what is the rigid body we have to aid the rigid body you have to know that what is the velocity i'm not convinced that how artists will be used because they want to use so they have to know a little bit about the programming if unity have created this one so we are just supporting it but from my point of view that a novice pro programmer can learn the visual scripting uh, so that he have to not write the code he have to just know the basic that there is a rigid body there is a translate method we can perform so let me explain that how we can uh, install means we have to not install it because uh, it is not we are just installing from the asset store uh, from the 2021 they have already provided in unity so we have to just operate it so before proceeding further i am requesting to you that if you are visiting my channel first time so please subscribe me and if you are having fun if you are just learning something so please subscribe uh, like this video for the demo purpose i am just taking a 3d plane so here is the 3d plane cube and let's suppose on this cube we want to perform some work okay so here is the so control shift f okay so now this is the point where we are, we are able to see so we can get, go a little closer so that we can see our cube and what we want so we want on this cube perform some task so for this what we have to do we have to just we have to add and here you have to type in the machine and here is two machine that is the script machine and state machine so basically script machine we have to just learn before the state machine basically script machine is just what the action what the scripting what uh, scripting thing scripting thing we want to perform and in state machine basically it's define the state like uh, we are just getting triggered anywhere or we are just uh, basically state machine uh, contain the state of player means power of player health of player so basically this kind of thing contained in the state machine in scripting basically we perform a particular task like jump move rotate or whatever you want animation go with script machine and in script machine here you can see there is a source that is the graph and embed so basically in the graph we create a graph which can we use on multiple game object and in embed when you are performing embed so basically it will work on this game object as a component so just go with the graph and here is the new so basically just create the new and what it means that it's create a asset inside your asset folder that whenever you want to use you can use on the scene there is a vs code and here you can give the name that is the cube action and here you can perform so here is our graph and just click on here and here you can see there is a two method we know that these are a very famous method on start on update basically these are the method in scripting but in visual scripting we call it unit by default we get two unit on start on update so okay so basically the properties are the similar that on update uh, it run every frame on start it run at once when your application is start this is the thing like when you are clicking on here so it get you know that what is the use of this basically this is the kind of inspector like when we click here we get the inspector so basically on the graph when we click so this is the our inspector that let us know that what is the use of and here is the full screen so just you can click on here and you can see your uh, graph here so first thing what we want we want our cube to be rotate the simple thing is that uh, on the script you have to write uh, transform dot rotate but here what you have to do is just just right click and here you can search rotate so just give rotate and here is the xyz so here you can so here is the transform rotate basically we want 
to perform in a particular direction so let's suppose we want in y so so directly we can give a value 50 and then this value we can perform here so by default our uh, q will be perform the rotation so let's see how it's performing okay so here you can see it's rotating a very fast let's suppose we don't want to give direct value we just want to give a value by using the variables so here you can see when you edit the graph when you edit the script machine here is the variable uh, we got here and we got this object it is the scene variable and here is a variable thing let's suppose we want give a speed let's click on the plus and here is the type so basically you can define the type so most probably speed is a float so let's give a value 5 and here is the uh, variables so what you have to do is just drag and drop here you have to just drag this variable here and basically just pass the on the y means in which direction you want so you can just pass here so here we are having issue with this inspector so stop it and off the full screen let's see how it's rotated so currently you can see here is no any value because we are passing through the variable okay now you can see our script is getting performed lively okay just off it and let's suppose we want to move our cube by just performing a button on button on w okay so what we can do is just go on the full screen just right click and here you can perform get key down so basically get key down so you can give a key that it is getting pressed so you can perform any key okay let's suppose we want to perform w on w we want to just translate so currently we don't want to perform rotate so uh, this node not go on the rotate okay so here is the get key down we want this thing to perform here so just get key down and on the w we have to want to uh, just translate so in the for the translate right click so just press here and then we want to perform translate so basically we have to translate on the translate here you can see there is the x y z so basically you can perform on which direction you want so this value we just want this value to in the x direction and on which speed we have performed this but when we want to click here so basically we want that take that uh, w button have been clicked so for this we need a boolean value so for this let's click here and add branch so here is the if basically it give if else means it is a conditional operator so what we want we want in true case we want here getting no that if w button is click so it is true if w button is not click so it is false and basically we are giving this value 5 control s so just forget this one so we are just performing on the w button we want to move in a x direction okay great so just play it so on the w button you can see we are able to move the in x direction okay we are able to move our cube okay great let's suppose you want to jump the cube so what you have to do uh, the similar value on the v we don't want on the v we want on the space key we want to jump so for the jump we need add force like in the script we use so add force so add force so you can add add force and here is the value so on the y direction we want to add force and uh, on space we want so just perform this one here you are here you can see rigid body add force we have not added the rigid body what we have to do is just go on the add component and add rigid body so here is the rigid body now it will work control s and just play so here you can see and here you can see when i'm clicking on the this button so here you can see add force is calling but we are not able to see the jump why because this value is a uh, very less and the best part is the visual scripting is that just increase the value at a runtime so it will really show the effect here so by changing the value you can check that how it's being performed so last time it was 5 we don't want 5 we want 100 so that we can see the effect and just click on the this button so now you can see we are able to see the movement here and let's suppose we increase the value 500 and let's see wow so we are able to just jump our cube so basically you have to not write the code basically you have to remember you have to basic 
of game development and you have to just use the node and you are able to perform your action so this is the beauty of visual scripting and this is for a beginner level that who don't know about the coding but they have to know about the basic so basically unity have created for the artists but artists have to know the basic so that they can create this kind of effect so hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care and don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends let me know in the comment box what do you think about vs means visual scripting bold means it is uh, useful for you it is useful for game development or not